What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Male. Let's get straight into it. I don't know if I'm just making this up or if it's just my intuition, but I have this feeling that the guy. Remember how I always say the poisonous frogs in the Amazon are always crazy colors? Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm just saying, fellas. At the moment, he's getting off and having his little ego stroked by the fact that his housemates have heard us. I don't know if it's you mean legit. heard you guys getting it on? Or not, but there's just some things that I'm just questioning. Like, he never tells me if there's other people in the house and he never tells me to keep it down or anything like that. And when I ask other people here, he'll say no at times, but then there are. <laughs> she's literally exposing her bop lore. She's a runner, <laughs> she's, she's a track star. <laughs> w skibbity for this guy. And then when we go downstairs, they kind of make these weird eye contact with each other and they're like, hmm. And it's a very boy club because it's a bunch of dudes living in a house together. And he seems insecure, like it seems like it's like an ego thing, but I'm not too sure, but it's weird and I don't know. So I just watched a video of a girl Stupid. where she said that she got very humbled because she went on a date with a guy and she said on the text messages he was very flirty. I'm keeping it a buck. It looks like she needed to blow her nose. Shots fired! Shots fired! What's going on? In real life, when they met, he wasn't as forward and that the date went really well. She said they were out for about two hours, they went for a walk, they went for a coffee, and then she said she bluntly just asked him, why is he more flirty on text messages than he is in real life? He then humbles her and he says, I think you're a very pretty girl. However, you do look a little bit different than your pictures. Because you look better online. <laughs> That's what it is. That's my opinion now. But I have enjoyed our date, but I do think it's more of a friendly vibe. Ooh. All the comments are roasting this guy. Being like, oh, but he's a war red flag. You dodged a bullet there and all this, right? I don't see anything wrong in what he's done. He's been very polite Based. about it. He's went on the date with you. And you've asked him a question and he's told you the truth, but because it's an answer that you don't want to hear, you then come to TikTok for loads of people to then roost this guy. When, fair enough, you haven't put a picture of him up, thank God, but he's done the right thing. Some guys, I've heard stories where they'll meet up with someone and they'll leave them in a bar or a restaurant. Some people I know have driven off from people when they've just been stood there waiting. That's the wrong way to deal with it. How this guy handled it, I think was correct, in my opinion. And I know this because I want you to use a lot of filters on date naps. And when I met up with a guy once, you could tell he was not interested at all. And then he texted me and he was like, I think you look a little bit different than your pictures. I was humbled. I never used proper full-on filters ever again. I might use like a smoother filter or a tan filter, but I never used one that made me look like a completely different person because I was humbled. And how that guy done it and how this guy done it was perfectly correct. So I don't know why I just don't get with the comments why women are so against when people tell the truth. Hey, she's based. Applaud this woman. Oh, where's it at? Shout out to her. Somebody want to carry it? Oh yeah, Loki's feeling much better, by the way. Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Go to your place. Uh, he's feeling much better. I take back what I said. She's super based. Some men feel that Gotta modern feminism and the evolving roles of women have led to confusion and the devaluation of traditional gender roles. They argue that as women become more career-oriented and independent, the traditional family dynamics where men were typically the providers and women the caregivers, are disrupted. This shift is believed to create dissatisfaction in relationships, as both men and women struggle to navigate these new expectations. The emphasis on career and independence can sometimes lead to conflicts over household responsibilities and the balancing of work and family life. Additionally, some men perceive that the empowerment of women has led to bro. un- Is that carrot good, bro? This man is back there smacking like he's at a buffet. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. It's just... <laughs> it's like straight up dog carrot ASMR. Sorry. Realistic expectations in relationships, contributing to a sense of instability and dissatisfaction. In Germany, if you did not know, it's really common here for when two people go on a first date that they split the bill. Love so it. like... The woman pays her portion and a man pays his going portion. Dutch. And the other thing about that is that on the date, you are only going to pay for what you consume. Love that. So let's say I got a margarita for $8 for and that. he just got water, you know, free water. When the total bill comes out, it's very common for the man or whoever to be like, hey, 
I didn't drink that margarita, so I'm not. I don't want to split it like that. I want to pay for what I ate. So I, like I went to the internet to try. Let to me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Are you down for going Dutch on the first date? And I'm even taking it a step further. I'm going with her philosophy of like line item by line item. What I bought, I'm gonna pay for. What you bought, you gonna pay for. Let me know in the comments. Do you like going Dutch? Do you like splitting? Would you like to? Would you like if that was the norm? I feel like more guys would casually date if that was the norm. But the thing is, it's not the norm. A lot of these girls want to go on a three hundred dollar Roots Chris dates, and the thing is, you're a Burger King budget, baby girl. Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm talking about taking you to Roots Chris, taking you to Capitol Grill, taking you somewhere nice. You are dollar menu quality. Stupid. That's what you deserve right now, especially in the in the beginning. In the beginning out why is it like this you know because th this is not like it how it is in america it's very mm -hmm. different and apparently i can't read because i can't come to understand why are you telling me you asked me out on a date you told me i was beautiful you invited me out to dinner we just tell y'all that because that's what we know it takes <laughs> You're so hot, baby. Because we know the standard of vanity is a lot higher with y'all, and you're super fit. You're way more superficial than we are. So that's we just feed you the stuff that we know that you want to hear. Come on now, stupid. You're telling me how much you want to marry me, and you want me to have your first children. Ooh. And you tell me when the waiter comes out with the bill after you said you was going to build a house with your own bare hands for me, and the waiter comes out with the bill, and you look at me like this. So are you going to pay? What? I want everybody to be happy. Hey, that's what it is. And if a guy, dude, I highly doubt a dude said he wants to have her children and build a house. But the thing is, us as men, we're smart enough to know that's what y'all want to hear. So we feed it to you because it works. Clearly, he got you on that date, boo-boo. So check a mate. I want everybody to find someone that makes them happy. Yes. I want everybody to live a beautiful life that yes. they want for themselves. I don't wish ill on anybody, but can, can I do? I can't stand the delusion. Facts. Preach Yeah, assist. we all got to sit here and we got to be like, oh, yeah, this is great. You know, this is somebody who could get 95% of guys. And imagine going through life with that sense of delusion. Like, we see it, and this is an extreme example, but when women walk around like that, imagine walking around thinking, I could get 95% of guys. How many guys are you telling no to because you think you're better than them? Are you? Or is it in your head? Just think about it. If you don't want to wind up alone, you have to have a, a, a realistic assessment of what you bring to the table, Preach. of your looks, like of your woman. capabilities, of what you're willing to do in a relationship, get of the your likes character. Out. All of it. Man, she's Men always just want virgins that have hadn't had to anyone and are really good girls. Like you want younger women as well, so it's like that whole predator vibe. So what if I say I love it. It's it's always a man's preferences are demonized and a woman's preferences are praised. Like we want virgins with no past trauma, but and then we're a predator. Like it's so stupid to me. Women are stupid, can't make money, short and weak because they want a guy that makes more money than them, taller than them, more confident, ambitious, etc. That would be ludicrous, wouldn't it? We don't shame female preferences. Okay? When a woman says, I want a man that's tall, makes money, etc., you go, girl, you deserve it. That's your preferences. If I say, I want a girl that's not a, that has some sexual temperance, isn't going to embarrass me when I walk in a room, beautiful, young, etc. That's considered, oh, that's, that's toxic and masculine. We demonize male preferences, but we don't demonize female preferences. Facts, preach. The economic independence of women is sometimes viewed negatively by those who believe it diminishes men's traditional role as providers. Some men feel threatened by successful independent women and perceive them as less desirable partners. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you guys feel threatened by successful women? Personally, I don't. I just don't want to deal with a combative, argumentative, masculine woman. That's just my two cents. As they challenge traditional gender dynamics. There is a perception among some men that modern women are more entitled, demanding, or difficult to please. Yes. This sentiment is often fueled by media portrayals and personal anecdotes leading to the belief that modern women have unrealistic expectations yes. in relationships. Yes. Very so much so. What about so. the women that didn't choose to raise a kid on their own? Of the 50 plus percent divorce rate, women are filing 70, 80 percent of all divorces. Women are choosing to wreck their own homes Facts. every day. Men are not choosing to wreck their own homes and make women single parents. That's a choice that women are making. Uh, why? Because their husbands are trash, treating them badly? <laughs> yeah, this is the, okay, now, you, now here we go with the ad hominem stuff. This is the same stuff that's been piped into the culture forever. That when a woman chooses to break her home, it's always the man's fault. Preach, bro. Men need to Preach. recognize that many women exhibit behaviors perceived as... That's what I'm saying. It's always somebody else's fault. Isn't that just the easiest scapegoat 
skirking accountability. It's never about you having to take accountability of picking a trash man. It's always the man is, the man is trash. Therefore, that's why I had to end it. No, 70 to 80% of divorces are initiate, initiated by women because of, you know, just poor choosing, uh, cho choosing skills. They just don't know how to pick men. They go for the men that they want to change and they, they go, oh, I can change him. I can make... I can make him a better man. I can make him really love me. I can make a hard man soft. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it that way. <laughs> you went soft man hard. <laughs> oh, I'm on one today. Sorry. I had, I had like two Americanos earlier. I'm like, I'm zipping today. But these women go out there in the market and they think they can get a man that they can change. And then when they find out they can't change this man, and then when they realize that they can't, they call him trash. When in reality, they picked him, they chose to have a baby with him, now they're a baby mama. You need to look in the mirror and say, mm, I am a direct reflection of all the decisions I've made up to this point. It is my fault. Everything that's happened to my life and my relationships is my fault. So then you take accountability and say, hey, I'm not gonna play the victim. I'm gonna do something to change that. But do women do that? No, they don't. It's sad. In a single world, well, in a single world, people meet people nowadays. Being a single gal in a single world, Jesus. where do I go if I don't want to go on dating apps? Like, I don't like dating apps. I've had them, I've tried them. I get Hit the streets. <laughs> Hit the streets, honey. Point it, I get the skirt. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a track star. Hit, hit the streets. It, let's be honest, let's be real. Dating apps, if you're gonna think this person is attractive, you're probably gonna swipe yes. And if you don't find them attractive, you're gonna swipe no. But sometimes people just aren't photogenic. They just don't present themselves well through photos. That's why I just feel like it's so much better to meet people in person. Also, just like with having dating apps, like it just feels forced and I don't want it to feel forced. To be I wanna like go out in public meet someone like in the wild both just happen to bump into each other and you're like and then you know sparks fly that i just want to know where like where do the single men Honey, you're not jasmine this isn't a disney movie all these women think they're jasmine and then aladdin's gonna come through on a magic carpet and just swoop them up in the middle of trader joe's when they're looking at walnuts <laughs> honey it's not happening don't hold your breath because if you do you're gonna pass out it's not happening go where are you going? Where are you hanging out? Because, like, if you're in the garage, like, come out. Like, are you at the lake? Are you snowmobiling? No. Are you fishing? It's wintertime. What are you doing right now? <laughs> it's funny. How am I this amazing? Like, and... <sighs> you're not amazing. Single? Like, are you kidding You're amazingly me? stupid. And like for the longest time, I just like wasn't worried about it. At this point, I'm like I'm 31. Ooh, what is happening? Like, is there just no one left? Put me on a dating show. The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, mm -hmm. Love Island. I don't even care. Just put me somewhere so I can actually like interact with the male race. I'm the not interacting with male. What? Stupid males. <laughs> Anyways, let's. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're stupid. I don't know. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Those types of women I would stay away from. I, and what's so funny to me is these women talk about The Bachelor. <laughs> and women hate men that have a lot of options. They hate men that use women or have a roster. But yet then, then, they, then they watch The Bachelor. They're cuddled up with their little Pomeranian and their glass of wine and their popcorn. And they're just like, oh my God, I think Teresa's this and I think Jasmine's that. And mer, 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 mer. When in reality, they actually hate those guys that have a lot of options, but they will they will be glued to that TV and glued into the lore of all these bops trying to get the same dude. It's just so funny to me, man, the hypocrisy of it all. Love comes to you when you least expect it. Shut up. Thank you. I have been trying to not expect it for like six See, these are the types of girls you go for. She's wearing like a strawberry moo moo, <laughs> like a little snuggy. Looks like she likes to stay at home. There you it go. Is. And also, I was speaking to my friend the other day, and she was like, well, like, are you, like, trying to, like, go out of your way to meet people? I'm like, no, because people are fucking telling me that it comes when you least expect it. So here I am, like, trying to convince myself I don't want it, and I'm just not expecting it so I can get it, and it's not happening. But then even when I go out of my way to, like, go on dating apps, it just never works because these people that I'm meeting aren't my cup of tea are not wanting what i want they just want a casual thing and like as as someone they who's just never want to run through you guys that's what that's what the dating apps are for you look for runners
She's a runner. She's a track star. That's why, that's why us as men. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Why do you get on the dating apps? Do you get on the dating apps to find some girls to run through? Or do you get on the dating apps to find a wife? I'm going to keep it a buck. If you really want to find a partner, dude, there's a couple things that you can do. Number one, you need to start frequenting places that are going to be in the same sociological group that you would want to see yourself in a relationship with, whether it's a coffee shop, whether it's going to church. I know some of you guys have been in the comments being like, well, Levi, going to church, sometimes there's this and that. I get it. I get it. There's going to be bad apples in the bunch every single time, right? But the majority of those girls are going to have a little bit different, uh, a little bit of a upper echelon of ethics and morality. So I would say go to church, maybe go to the same coffee shop every day, become a regular, go there. If there's other things that you can become a regular at in your area, go do that. If you see a cute girl who's a bartender, go get, go to the bar a few times and then just strike up a casual conversation. You never freaking know, dude. But anything that's worth having in this world is worth working for. I'll say it again for the ones in the back. Anything worth having in this world is worth working for. So if, if you feel like you shouldn't have to work for something that you see a lot of value in, then you already got the game messed up. I feel like you should have to work for things that are going to be worth it to you. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I'm very pro relationships. I'm, I'm pro marriage. I want, I think everyone out there deserves to have, not deserves, I guess, per se, but like the universe owes me this, but I think everyone should be able to have a meaningful relationship with friends and an intimate partner. That's just what I think. And I don't, different strokes for different folks, whatever you're into, as long as you're not hurting anybody, that's all I care about. Um, or preying on children, golly. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that any, any relationship that you that you're going to get a lot of value out of, you should honestly have to work for those relationships are going to be rewarding and resp results respond to effort. So if you're not putting any effort into it, why do you expect to get all these results? And then these women are like, they're like on the, on the milk aisle at, you know, Walmart thinking some dude's going to bump into, Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, uh, oh my God, you're just so beautiful in your sweatpants. Like, can I just take you out? Some, like, that's not happening. And, and more than likely, the guys that you would see, you would probably next 90% of them. So if women lowered their standards and thought, you know what, I'm a regular schmegular girl. A lot of these girls are regular. This girl right here, regular schmegs. She's a five on her best days. And that's okay. There's a lot of fives that are guys, five guys. There's a lot of fives that are guys that are a, a great match for her, but more than likely she would next all those guys. All these women want to be in relationships with Chad's when Chad's have lay of the land. Chad's can go out and buck who they want. They don't want to date you. They're just trying to beat the cheeks. And if they're on Tinder or they're on Hinge, they're on Bumble, they're just looking to find some girls who are runners. She's a runner. She's a track star. That's the funny thing is these women can't realize that. I've been in any kind of romantic entanglement. I'm my first, my first relationship is gonna be a fucking casual relationship and yeah Entitled. so like what one is it should i put myself out there or should i just pretend that i'm not like oh i don't want a boyfriend no 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 a buy a dog get a cat die alone man will lose interest when he sees that he is trying way harder than you it literally doesn't matter how pretty you are how happy you are how successful and confident you are you will lose him simply because you are not giving him any effort mm-hmm the sexual liberation movement. Men, men need to see a reciprocation of energy. Because here's the thing, ladies. You guys wanted equality. And now we're just giving it to you. Equal rights, equal lefts. You guys want to work hard for the relationship too. This is why I see girls talking about like, well, I went on a date with this guy. And um, like we have some friends that are single. Cass and I. I went on a date with this guy. And like, he didn't text me directly after the date. Like, should I text him? Should I wait for him to text me? Like, Boo Boo, you're in your 30s. You're grabbing at straws at this point. You need to get what you can get. So I would I would text him as much as you can. You need to be putting just as much effort as he is. You're in your 30s. Your value's a lot lower. You've never had a long-term relationship. Girl, you need to be trying. That's why I say the, the older you get as women, the more you need to be trying. When you're younger, you can do the whole nonchalant, I'm not going to try. I'm going to let it come to me. But the older you get, girl, you better put your big girl boots on. You better be trying to get you a man. Because the thing is, now you're competing against the youngins. The younger girls that have the pull, they have the youth, the fertility, and the beauty. They have all that up on you, and more than likely, they're more feminine, they're more, they're less combative, and they have less trauma than you do. So you need to be trying. And I'm telling you right now, let me know in the comments, how many of you guys have actually had a girl come up to you and shoot her shot? Don't worry, I'll wait. More than likely, it's nobody. I've had like maybe two in my entire life, and most of the time, those girls are duds. <laughs> Just gonna keep it a buck. But ladies, if you find a guy that's remotely attractive, go up and shoot your shot. If you get rejected, it is what it is. That's what you guys wanted. But the older you get, if, for women at least, you need to be shooting your shot. And the thing is, guys, the older we get, 
the more successful we get, the more money we have, the more monetary gain we have, the, the higher we're moving up in the corporate ladder or whatever it is, the more things we, we have and own, the more assets we have. So like, we're living life just fine. We don't really need you. Now, it's, it'd be cool to have you, but as we get older, we become more self-sufficient. As late, and in, ladies, when you guys get older, it just gets harder and harder. Feminism is expensive, and you guys are figuring that out. Oh, shit. Just oh, saying. Shit. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook in the description, the personality ebook. The uh, Four Steps to Style will be out soon, the new ebook. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Say bye to Lokes. Say bye, Loki. Love you guys, man. Peace.